In this example I'm going to show you how to set up your water gems model so that it will print out on an 11 by 17 in a clear way so that you're not simply taking a screenshot and pasting that into a Word document. Uh, that's fine if there's not a lot of complex annotation but in our case you're going to have quite a bit of detail there that has to be printed out clearly and so we need to print that out at a large size and at a high resolution. Uh, so one of the first things I'll mention is that if your text needs to be increased or decreased in size, the way to do that is through tools, options, and then identifying um, the drawing multiplier that you'd like to use. And so if I was thinking that my uh, symbol sizes were too small, then I could use this symbol size multiplier and it would immediately increase them. You can see how they grew a little bit larger. Likewise with the um, size of the uh, annotation. If I wanted to have my annotation be a little bit larger, I could scale that up and you'll see that the annotation does get a little bit larger. Um, if I don't like the location, if I think that consistently I'd like to increase, uh, the, bring the D up, then the, the diameter, I could go here and edit that and there's an offset I've uh, got an offset. The Y offset is the vertical offset. If I want it to be higher, I could go to 25. And you'll notice how now the D's were higher up. Or if I wanted to move it sideways a little bit more, I could do 15 and watch where the D goes relative to its location apply. And it moves it to the side. So any one of these annotations, I can move the default annotation. And you may need to move things around manually if it gets crowded in a certain spot like it is here. I can select the annotations on an individual basis and drag them to a spot that is going to look less crowded. Alright, that's for the junction. Alright, so annotations you probably already knew how to do. Um, for setting up the print, the first thing that you need to do is go into reports and we're going to the report options so that we can turn off the header and footer. Um, by default it throws in a bunch of information that we don't really want to be there and so I'm going to delete the header I'm going to delete these footer information alright if you'd rather change it so that the header isn't blank but maybe you would want the header to do uh, let's go back to these report options maybe I want the header to say um, uh, peak flow okay <clears throat> now let's do a print preview so file print preview I think that still may be off screen a little bit okay file print preview and fit to page we want it to use up all of the space that's there and it comes up with a print preview of what it's going to look like when it's printed out. Alright, let me reduce the size of that and get it in the recording window here. Okay, so you can see that it doesn't seem to make much sense right now. Um, it's got the, uh, the margins are too big and it's oriented the wrong way. It would make more sense for this to be portrait I'm sorry, landscape rather than portrait. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to go into the page setup and here in the page setup is where I'm going to tell it let's use an 11 by 17 paper and I'd like to be in landscape mode and the margins I can do 0.5 all around so there isn't so much wasted space. Okay, And now when I do a, a print preview fit to page Hopefully it looks like we're going to be using the space a little bit more wisely. Let's, all right, that is a lot better. But still, uh, there's some dead space around the edges. Um, it, it should still print out clear enough with that with that dead space. Okay, um, so all we have to do is go to print, and we're going to do the fit to page. Uh, select the printer and if you have already set it as 11 by 17 then it will automatically know what size paper to use when you click 
print to that uh, EL109C because it has the 11 by 17 paper already built into it. I just got the notice down in my system tray that the document was sent to the printer. So I'm going to pause this and I'll go grab it out. So just wait. Alright, I just grabbed that print from the printer. It looks fantastic, nice and clear, everything's big. To give you an idea of what it looks like, I'm going to have it create a PDF this time, and then I can bring up the PDF here on the screen to give you a sense of how it looks. Um, what it's creating, it's this kind of a, um, a printout is called a So uh, this kind of a print, it, rather than it being pixels, it's actual vectors. Rather than being a raster, this is based on vectors. So you can zoom in really, really close, and there's just going to be essentially no pixelization because it's not individual pixels that are being shown, but rather it is a line, a, a vector. So um, that's essentially the end. You can create some nice looking prints. Just to summarize, the main things that you're going to want to do is in the reports, either turn off or rename those default headers that it comes up with, and then do page setup. And in page setup, you're telling it 11 by 17. Now, it, it switched a letter because I changed from the uh, EL109 to the PDF printer. But um, define the margins, and then you print to whatever device that you have uh, fit to page, whether it's the 109C or to the PDF. You can print it. Now it's going to create an updated PDF for me. And it'll pop it open to see how it turned out. It looks great. That's all.